Uh, let's do some like kind of quick hits. We'll just do like a round, like a round robin kind of thing. First question yeah. for this is. Casey says, what's your advice for couples who want to do this? Should they get licensed as individuals and approach the IA firms independently? Or should they apply under a company name such as an LLC? Go, Chris. Right. Uh, well, what I found, at least in the daily auto space, is most of the time you have to be an established company anyways to even get on with the firms. So if you're going to do that anyways, you might as well be – becoming an LLC and work together. Now, that doesn't mean you don't attack it two separate tandems. Maybe one's going after the cat work, one's going after daily, one's going after property, one's going after auto because it's separate headspace there. Uh, but for me, I don't see any reason why to attack it totally separate. You might as well fall into one LLC. All right, go, James. Uh, so somebody said, where did it go? Kenneth said, hi, everybody. I appreciate the live stream. Oh, we're still back. answering so, that first question. What do you... Oh, that one? Okay. I thought you were going to take another one. Never mind. No, no. We'll, we'll, do, so, we'll uh, do like one question at a time. Everybody answer it. Okay. So real fast on that one. Uh, so you're an independent, uh, you're a company. You have an LLC. You can employ people. Um, that's how small regional companies get started. As a wise man named Chris Stanley once said to me, um, all you have to do is set your company up. They send you claims and you give them to whoever you want to in your business to work those claims. Um I would, if I would, my wife and I have talked about doing that as well. Um, our goal is to just have one person, you know, just have one company, uh, take all we can grab and, you know, take what we think we can handle and just divvy it that way versus going in as two different companies. So that's my advice. All right, Jeremy, go. All right, I'll tell you what, real quick, did can, can you can you ask the question one more time? Yeah. Okay. So. What's your advice for couples who want to do this? Should they get licensed as individuals or approach the I firms independently or should they get an LLC together? Okay. No. Yeah. I, I, I heard it. I just want to make sure before I go on my, <laughs> you know, tangent. Roger. Um, as far to as the LL, sure. first I'll tack it to the LLC. There's, there's no reason to get two separate LLCs. I mean, if you two are together, unless, um, you know, you're worried about what might happen in the future, I guess, and equity, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's really no reason to complicate things by doing uh, – other than that, there's no reason to complicate things by doing two different LLCs. You could just get the one LLC. You're not going to have a, a high-value company, I'm sure. There's not going to be any, like, assets or anything like that. So just get one company and one you LLC, know. and that's – and, 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 and Yeah, you could dream. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so just do that as far as like <laughs> my thing on the, on the teams, um, if you are a team, that's fine. But honestly, like even me, if I was on, if I had a, a girlfriend or a wife, or if there was a husband or boyfriend that was traveling with me to do cat claims or anything like that. Um, the, the important thing is to have your own separate work and just share the expenses that, that that's always what I've touted because yeah. I could not incorporate an additional person into my thing and 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 respectfully split the costs or or split the income 50 50 no, no. without me being at a loss. I'm with you. Because I'm going to be yeah, if I'm going to have a driver, I'm not going to give that person 50% of what I make. So but other than having a driver or just having somebody that's going to do like errands for me and fill up the fridge and stuff like that, which is not worth 50% of cat pay. No. It, it it makes more – if you're in a household, it makes so much more sense to have two individuals there working simultaneously, doing the same thing, helping each other out where is needed. But if, if you're doing field property, you're both going out separately, doing your field property claims, making your three, 400 bucks a claim, and you're both coming back with 10 claims done a day. You got 20 claims done, you know, as a whole, all day, as your family, you're putting money in the bank at that point. There's no sense. You're not going to be able to do, you're probably not going to be able to do 20 claims as an individual, even with help, but you can do it two people separately. So that's what I say go for. Uh, yeah, so Matt, just piggyback. I didn't catch yeah. the whole question when Jeremy had you read it. As far as getting licensed, yes, both get licensed. Yeah, yes. uh, absolutely. Yeah, both get licensed, yeah. totally. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so let me, I'll take it, I'll just kind of, just kind of back up what you guys are saying. Basically, I would say 
when I look at my workflow, like it's hard to, to bring a person into that, like Jeremy was just saying, right? Like, so you've got a way to do claims, especially if, if you spend a lot of time by your, yourself, which I would say, no matter what, spend time doing two, three, four uh, storm seasons on your own before you bring on any help. And then I would say when you do, like what I would do is bring on somebody to take things off of my desk, so, and which really translates to taking over my desk, right? So the, I want this person to make contact calls for me. I want them to follow up on voicemails. I want them to make sure that my activity diaries are up to date. They're going to be an administrative person for me. I'm going to run out and do claims. I'm going to do estimates. I'm going to make settlement calls and, you know, do make calls I have to. And, and then, because I'm going to spend all day long doing that. And I'm going to have somebody, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pay them an hourly or like a, a day rate. Like it's something that's reasonable that makes sense for both of us. Never going to split my fee bill with somebody. I'm going to pay them whether I'm working or not because they're going to be working for me, making phone calls and stuff, right? So as far as the LLC goes, it depends. Um, a lot of some companies, some, especially some major I firms, only pay a W-2. So LLC is not going to help you there. You're just going to be like Matt Allen, just your, you know, Matt Allen employee, basically only like pilot catastrophe, for example, considers itself to be a temporary agency, right? So you're, you, you're a W-2 employee. They take taxes out. You got a 401k at pilot, by the way, which is, I'm going to tell you right now, is the bomb. Um, the, but they don't really have any other benefits besides that, right? So if you're 1099, maybe. If you have a lot of assets, like an LLC is a, is a thing that is, I'm not going to give financial advice on it. Um, I personally don't have one for claims, but it's something that you guys can decide on your own. As far as getting licensed, yes, absolutely. Both of you need to get licensed because, and you may even need, both need to get certified with the carrier that we're, you're working for. So you may have to say, uh, is it cocktail? We got Tom Cruise over here shaking it up. So for, for, for licensing and certification, you know, like for example, American Family, if you have an assistant, that assistant has to have the general certification for American Family before they'll let you, they'll let your assistant talk on the phone to their insured. And I would say get licensed as well. So in a nutshell, that's what I would do. I would bring on an assistant. And I, I would, I'll say this, like to, to really to piggyback what Jeremy just said, the, the best case scenario is you have two people, couple, right? They go and they stay in the same, somebody asked about Airbnb. I would go, I'd get a bunch of adjusters in there. But as a couple, like as a married couple, if your spouse will, can run claims and maybe you do, you know, I'll do five a day and she does seven a day. I mean, that's 12 claims a day. Maybe I do seven and she does nine. Or maybe I do nine and she does seven. There. You're pushing 20 mm -hmm. claims a day that are going into the same checking account, okay? Oh, and I mean, massive. just imagine, like at the, at the end of storm season, like, you know, Halloween rolls around and you're making plans to go visit family for Thanksgiving and you've got double the money. You have double that's the money. Huge. And then, I, I, this is like the ultimate thing for me. I did a whole video about this. Have one assistant that works for both of you. They make your phone calls for both of you guys. So oh, you man. Both, get, you both get new claims, and you have an assistant that takes care of your desk. So all you have to do is go scope, write, and settle, and go to the bank. You ever think if, uh, you know, you think of these crazy deployments, if like an Irma, and I know there's a handful of other people that, that were also in the same boat that made off Irma a couple months, $250,000, oh, $300,000. big time. Yeah, absolutely. Just off that, just Rare, imagine, though. just imagine. Oh my just gosh, imagine. both of you together at the half a mil. You and you had, a, listen, and I'm gonna, you just to assistant. stop you right there, <laughs> to everybody out there who's never run claims before, Irma was a freaking fluke. Katrina wasn't even that good, okay? And that was like a big deal. Yeah, just ignore everything you just heard that they just <laughs> said and that start lowering mean, you back down to reality. doesn't mean that it can't happen. You're gonna be disappointed no matter what now. And listen, if you guys, like, if you both run flood claims, for example, you can make a lot of money doing flood on even, like, a minor hurricane. Yeah, man. If that's tropical storm and there's a lot of flooding and a lot of heavy rains, both get yep. NFIP, one assistant. Come on, this is a business, you guys, for real. You have to, you have to yeah. think outside of the box with it. You have to, like, take all the pieces of it and say, how can I make the, the best, highest quality product I can, the claim exactly. style, in the fastest, shortest amount of time That's possible. being a business. That's it for this. Yeah. We don't get paid by That's the hour. We get paid to be efficient. By the product. Yep.